Okay, just the recap on how to get your mesh into Maya. Select the face and asset actions, export. Okay, here's the face. Okay, file import into your Maya. This is the metahumans can use up a lot of um, the computer's bandwidth. Let's see, I might have selected the wrong one. All right, back in uh, my again. Uh, let's see, import. No, looks like I. Uh, looks okay, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I was being slow. Let's hide the joints. We don't need those. We actually just need the the head as reference. So say you want to make like a asset for your metahuman and they'll be used like as a prop or something. Um, I don't know, like like a hat. Let's make something really simple. But something custom enough that merits having um, to import your metahuman. Okay, this is simple. Say a little hat. Um, yeah, so here's your hat. So let's choose one more little more detail for fun. Um, let's name this hat. So, based on where it is, it should fit exactly on our character when it's zeroed out. Let's just click this 
history. Just make sure everything's good. Um, might as well UB, I suppose. selection okay back on real it's import for asset you can also just drag it in from your desktop folder or wherever you saved it Everything should be fine. Alright, so we're going to go into our blueprints. Report. As you can see, the LLDs are um, for the textures are only on the main LOD. Um, so you just got to disable the other ones. That way, it doesn't pop back to normal. Yeah. You can also generate the LLDs, I suppose. Um, Where do we put that? Oh, it's in the face. It's uh Windows kind of browser. Let's try this hat over here. Alright, let's throw this hat. Uh, let's connect this to the body. As you can see, the hair is clipping through. Uh, so make sure your character is like Alder. Go back and modify this. <laughs> okay, so from here, let's connect it to the socket. Um, so we have to have it connect to the body and then set the socket to the head. Hmm. I guess there's some kind of offset. Snow, we uh, pile. There's a little hat. So he should be moving with the hat. Nice. And since it's connected to the, the head bone, it's movable. It should follow the head bone. And that's how I would do things like add things like hats. Um, if you have like something like a watch or something, you can also attach that to like the wrist, and you can export 
like the hands and the body, like the shirt and everything, into Maya as well, using the same process. And yeah.